I'm looking, I'm wondering how you're looking to bet this one. Uh, intriguing kind of start as uh, both teams are really jockeying for position. It seems like both are, you know, signed, sealed, delivered as we head towards uh, the the playoff push here with the latter part of September. But as far as where these two teams will land come playoff time, that's the big question. And this is a big series to help determine it, Steve. How are you looking to bet game one here? Well, I mean, first of all, it probably doesn't matter where they land because we've seen with this new format the last couple of years how bad those teams that get the bye win. I think, what was it last year? Like one and nine, done and, you know, gone and within a week. Um, but I think the key for the Royals is holding on to this wild card spot. Maybe they can catch the Guardians. They're two and a half behind Cleveland. They're two and a half up in the wild card over the Twins, which is very important. Um, I still point out that the Royals have the second best run differential in the entire American League, yet they're only second in their own division, ahead of even the Orioles. Um, but the team that's ahead of them in run differential is the New York Yankees, um, who have been just smoking it this year. In fact, Yankees second best run differential in baseball Behind, no, not the Phillies, no, not the Dodgers. The Milwaukee Brewers are ahead of everybody by about 15 runs. So it's really incredible how much Milwaukee's been under the radar. But talking about Kansas City, this is a team all year long. We talked about how great their home road splits are. Uh, they did have a winning road record about a month ago, finally, but now they're a game below 500 on the road, 15 up at home. Um, also, you got to be a little concerned against winning teams. Kansas City just 43 and 47 against winning teams. Yankees 47 and 33 against winning teams this season. Um, so I do think New York's the best team in the American League. Kansas City weaker on the road. Uh, Yankees just 9-11 and their last 20, but the Royals just 10-10 and their last 20. Neither team is really like striving down the stretch here in September. Um, I'd rather have the quality team in this game if we're going to play it. I think Rodon is worth a look. Uh, currently minus 170, 175. Gets a little pricey. You could get plus money on the run line at plus 115. You could also split the difference and make your own minus one run line. Uh, that's a 90 cent difference. So it'd be about minus 130 on the minus one run line. And of course, if you can't get that at your local sports book, you can always create your own by playing half on the money line, half on the run line. Um, if you look at Radon's overall numbers, he's in good current form, 3.5 ERA going all the way back to the end of July. Uh, meanwhile, Brady Singer, almost a five ERA uh, since the end of July. So I think we get the better pitcher, the better overall team, focus spot here. In game one, uh, I'd look at the Yankees, a lot of different ways to play them, but that'd be my preferred side here tonight. Well, you know, you talk about quiet time. It, it really is quiet time. Uh, it hasn't been quiet for me. I've been trying to make some noise in the solo videos and everywhere else on Wager Talk TV saying don't sleep on baseball. But I used to play yesterday, you know, and it's NFL Sunday. I know nobody cared about baseball, but it was a strong situation. The over in the San Diego Giants game, 13 runs, never in doubt. Now 21 and 5, 24 and 6. 43 and 19 baseball runs over the past month plus. Um, yeah, look, it's just a great time to pick up all sports. Get football and baseball right now at wagertalk.com.